Hello, daddy folks. It is Diecast. Buff Fair here again. Today, we have an epic diecast from our friends over there at Circle B Diecast. We have the Ryan Truex 2021 number 40 Plan B Cell Chevrolet Silverado. And this thing really reminds me of like a 90s Taco Bell cup, which is great. So without further ado, let's go and kick off the review. Wow. What a cool looking paint scheme here, guys. I mean, you got a little bit of everything going on. You got baby blue. You got a salmon pink. You got a light purple. You got like a charcoal black. Then you have a freaking jacuzzi or a hot tub in the bed cover of the truck. And then you have like this, um, you remember the Travis Pastrana Boost Mobile car years ago? You kind of have like that pattern, uh, that very modern pattern on the front of the truck. I mean, this thing's got everything uh, going on here. Sorry for bumping the camera. Let's uh, let's go ahead and dive into this one here. So you got Camping World right there on the front windscreen. You got the, uh, the B logo right there for Circle B and Plan B Sales. Uh, a little bit of a decal piece that just fluffed off there. But this thing has such a retro and modern vibe at the same time. And, and what I'm getting at is this truck just has an aesthetic to it that is really interesting to me. So you got Silverado right there. Very, very sharp. I like the white outlining to that. Nice Motorsports. Uh, Simpson, Sudoku. The whole splitter is purple, believe it or not. That's actually really cool. Got the number 40 right there on the side. You go to the left side of the truck, and you can really see that texture I was talking about. Um... It just really reminds me of kind of that Boost Mobile car Travis Pastrana had years ago. Um, and that pattern actually carries over the sides of the truck. You can see right here, um, you have that kind of pattern design. It's very hard to see if you're not actually holding the die cast or watching, you know, a die cast review. And this is a great example of when you get a car or a truck in your hand or, you know, actually get to see the die cast in a review, you get to see the true detail of it. You never see these details on stock photos or die cast renders. Um, so that's why reviews are so important. So go over here to the left side, you get Ryan Truex. That logo is a little bit skewed. Chevrolet Nice Motorsports, number 40. Uh, but look at the beautiful pattern of this truck. Now, some people are like, okay, this thing's a little too all over the place. That's the aesthetic. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be retro and and modern, kind of a synth wave pattern to it. It's got a little bit of a 90s flair to it. That's what it's supposed to be, man. I'm digging it. It's got Goodyear right there. Yeah, I got Race Truck, uh, Caper World, Mobile One, ARP, Cometic, Holly, Dilton, uh, a bunch of other logos. Mobile One, Mechanics Square, KN, Sunoco. Well, that's, that's, that's American Ethanol. Now, I will say the Circle B Diecast logo here should be a little bit lowered, perhaps, because it is kind of coming up on the, uh, the, the, the B post and whatnot. So that's a little bit of a uh, oopsie there. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's go to the back end of the truck. This decal is a little bit crooked here, unfortunately. Uh, but you have that salmon pink back bumper. That is cool. And you can see that it's almost like a... a, a, a you remember, like, I don't know this is going to be comparing apples to oranges here, guys. But if you play Minecraft and you have like the sandstone bricks and you have the patterns and stuff, that's what it really reminds me of. It's kind of like this uh, Egyptian kind of, uh, you know, designs and grooves you would see into uh, masonry and rocks and whatnot. So that's actually really interesting. Uh, CircleBeatDieCast.com, once again, number 40, Silverado Chevrolet. Of course, I did pick up this truck over there at Circle B Diecast, and if you want to get uh, $5 off on shipping, sure check out that uh, code down below in the description. Uh, but you can see the wheel paint significantly different on the right side of this Silverado compared to the left side. So look at the wheels here. Now, I will admit, they're not fully painted. Like, this one's a little bit oblong, and this one's it's a little bit uh, rough around the edges. But if you look at it on this side, the wheels are significantly smaller. In my honest opinion, I'd rather have the wheels look like this and be wider. I, I still wish they was, this one was painted better. But then them being small, and it makes the truck have balloon tires. So take that for what you will. This one's actually painted really good, but this one's a little bit oof. Um, obviously, with the Truck Series diecast, they don't have a passenger side window, so that's all open. Uh, very cool-looking truck here, guys. And you go on the roof, and you still see that, that really interesting pattern to it. And the way that the grooves go, it looks like it goes right here, cuts off with the 40, and actually begins right here. So it it's supposed to look random. It's supposed to look crazy, and that's the beauty of this truck. And this might be the best part of all. And th th this is when a sponsor really knows what they're doing, when they put a freaking hot tub on the back of a truck. You know, some people actually do that. They they freaking turn the, the, their, the bed of their truck into a freaking pool. That is so cool, man. I love that. And the three-dimensional waves and the patterns. Is that a person there? 
Oh, that is so cool! Check this out! Dude, this is so cool. This is why I love um, the Circle B trucks, man, because this is so cool and creative. Check this out. You actually have the driver. I believe that's the driver right there. In the fire suit, you can see their hands, with the helmet on, chilling in the freaking the tub. If that is not creative, I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, man. I love that. That is so freaking cool. I never noticed that. That is so cool. So you got marquee uh, hot tubs, uh, Chevrolet, Ryan trucks on the back glass, and a white uh, spoiler. You do see a little bit of a, a black stripe there. Not sure. Um, I, it don't look too bad there. But nonetheless, that is so cool. That's how you market paint schemes. That's how you really. Um, that's how you really do it, guys. That's how you really do it. Love to see it. Um, a lot of people will probably be glossing over this truck, being like, oh, it's just another, you know, plenty sales truck or Circle B, tr Circle B truck. You know, we've got like 20 of these things made by now. But I'm telling you, man, this one's different. It hits different, definitely. Uh, so number 40, Plenty Sales, Silverado. Make sure you go pick up yours today. Awesome, awesome truck. It's retro. It's almost a throwback. It's a Taco Bell's 90 cup. It looks amazing. Wow. I, I am really impressed with this piece here, guys. That, that bed cover decal is so cool. Thank you all so much for watching. If you can, please give the video a huge thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next NASCAR Diecast review. So have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.